Welcome to Cooking Herbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use document selectors on files that are inside of iframes. Note that this will only work on the same domain, so since these both files are on my computer, it's fine. So basically, you can use document.getElementById through the iframe. So if you look at the source, you can see that that's an iframe. And if I click on Change Text, it now says this is some other text. Now the other file, if I click on uh, view page source, this is the file. It's just an H1 tag with an ID. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Alright, so before we get started, you're going to want to have a file that you're going to want to mess with through the iframe. So I just have this file somewhere in here, some text.html, and if I pop it open, it just says this is some text, and make sure that one of your elements has an ID, because that's how we're going to be getting it. Alright, now pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML, and start with a doctype tag exclamation mark doc type HTML on the next line iframe ID equals whatever you want to call it I'm going to call mine frame close quotes src equals open quotes some text dot HTML that's the file I'm going to mess with and close that iframe tag slash iframe all right next you're going to want to make a button tag button on click equals open single quotes document dot get element by id open parentheses oh i spelled document let's fix that i spelled document wrong open parentheses, open double quotes, frame, frame, close double quotes, dot, content, window with a capital W, dot document, dot, get, element, by ID with a capital E and element B and by and I and ID open parentheses oh let's close the parentheses over there forgot to do that okay back to here where we were open parentheses open double quotes some text because that's the ID of the element close parentheses oh and double quotes dot inner html with a capital h t m and l equals and in double quotes this is uh oh wait in double quotes this is some other text text some other text close double quotes semicolon and close single quotes all right, now inside the button tag, let's just put change text and close the button tag slash button. All right, save the file. I'm going to call it iframe edit.html. You can call it whatever you want, I don't care. Pop open your browser find the file and drag it into your new tab this is some text it says inside the iframe change text and I found the problem I spelled element wrong element there we go save that file reload in your browser push the button turns out I spelled element wrong here too add that E save the file reload in your browser click the button 
I found another problem right here. You were supposed to open double quotes. I accidentally opened both double and single quotes. So just delete that single quote. So it is just double quotes being opened so that we don't accidentally close our single quotes. Save that file, reload in the browser, and push the button. And it works! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember, things happen sometimes.